This is a love week for Elevation Church, and right here at the Elevation Church uh, Riverwalk location in Rock Hill, we've got some young people who are a big part of Love Week, as well as the youth director at Elevation Church. So let's welcome uh, Jet Tavares. You are the out, uh, the youth director at yes. Elevation Church. Yep. Well, good morning to you, Jet. Good morning. Let's jump right on in as the youth director at um, Elevation Riverwalk. This is Love Week. What are we talking about here? Yes, Love Week. <laughs> so I think it says it perfectly in the name. Uh, an entire week churchwide dedicated to serving our community. And when I say an entire week, I mean like from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., seven days a week, um, where we go out and personally uh, here at Elevation Riverwalk, we have over 90 events uh, that we're a part of. Now we're a part of a bigger church, Elevation Church, so we have campuses in Toronto all the way down to Florida, but here in York County alone, we have over 90 events that uh, we're taking part of this week. And I see each of you have the the infamous Love Week shirt on. The volunteers get it. But there's a lot of symbolic uh, character within it. Tell the folks a little bit about the, the history here of the effect of the shirt. I don't want to give it away, yeah. but I just learned about it myself. Honestly, it's a really great talking piece. Uh, I could already... There have been two instances, and the week has just started, where I've met somebody, whether it's picking up food or, you know, part of what we're doing in Love Week, and then they just ask, like, what is Love Week? What, what is this about? What is this affiliated with? Um, which is really cool. Depending on the color, it uh, depends on, like, what role you play. So for this, this is for someone that's, like, a director that is kind of spearheading the thing. And then, actually, Jackson and Emerson are... Um, Host, so they're hosting our Youth Love Week event, which is really cool. Middle school and high school students uh, spending an entire three days just going out into the community doing different things, um, and then there's the the volunteer shirt as well. Yeah. Well, let's get to Emerson and Jackson, uh, part of Love Week. So Emerson, tell us about your role, and when she's done, same thing, Jackson. But what does it look like to be in your position during Love Week? Yeah, so um, basically. I'm hosting for the, the middle schoolers. Mm. Well, Jackson is too. Um, but God bless you. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. hardest group. Uh, for real. Tough demographic. They need it the most, though. That's they do. The, that's they the do. point in life where it's really at a crossroads, yeah. for sure. Well, in Emerson and Jackson, you guys could have picked to be with your own peers, but you chose mm-hmm. the middle school group. Yeah. Well, they're just, they're really special. I got to do an e-group this past, like, semester. So it's just cool seeing them grow because, like, you might, you might think that they're crazy. They're all over the place. But really, they do look up to people that are even just a few years older. So I think that just having that involvement and them kind of seeing, like, me and Jackson, we're both, we're still teenagers. So they kind of, like, look up to us and they see what we're doing on a regular basis and how we're serving. So just having that, like, one-on-one involvement, that hands-on experience with them, you get to have, like, a real connection. What's well, good role models, for sure. Mm-hmm. So, Jackson, when you were talking about leading um, the middle schoolers, like today, walk us through what that looks like. So first of all, we start the morning with breakfast, get them fed, and then we go into some worship and we have a moment where we have one of our staff come in and give a little teaching. That way they can be spiritually fed. Um, And then after that, our high schoolers are actually going into Charlotte to go serve in Uptown, but our middle schoolers are gonna be serving at our campus. I'm still not sure specifically what we're doing. but it's just a great opportunity to like be together. Like they get to really bond through it, and it's awesome to see that. Um, and then after that lunch, we play some games, just have a good time, and then parents come and pick them up. I can imagine Jackson Emerson that just the stories of when you guys probably grew up and had that same experience. These are memories you mm-hmm. make and friends, and you get to meet people outside of your own little friend circle. What has that been like for you all, kind of growing up and watching this evolve to where you get to lead them? Yeah, it's actually really cool um, because I was in middle school when I started going to Elevation, and so just. Emerson here, she actually started coming just like a few weeks after I did. So we've been doing it almost this exact same amount of time. Mm -hmm. So it's just like getting to grow up together is awesome and take a leadership position to where like where you once were, those kids are now looking up to you. 
It's very special. Well, Jet, going back to you, you're saying there's over 90 different events happening here locally. There's probably people listening now that say, you know, I didn't realize this, but I really want to get involved. What are the ways that people can roll up their sleeves, whether it's through prayer, volunteer, or financially to get involved with these events? Yeah, so it's never too late. There's always opportunity. Uh, we are just a, par- a small part of a, a big thing, and uh, we do it church-wide. So whether you're here in York County or you're in Charlotte, wherever you are, you can play a part. If you go to elevationoutreach.org, there you'll have a full page full of different events, not just in York County, but all over uh, Charlotte, Mecklenburg area. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can play a part. You can also give there as well. Um, there's so many different things. Like uh, after what we did uh, was it yesterday, yeah. um, there were still another like seven events happening, mm-hmm. uh, whether it's packing meals, packing things for the local school districts, all the way to packing uh, things for really intentional bus drivers yeah. mm-hmm. um, and just thinking about them and, and the work that they put in, in our community. Mm-hmm. There, there's a lot of events that you can be a part of. Well, what's super special, I know Lucas, before we went on air with them, we were talking, it's those little things, those blessings, those gifts that you don't always realize you get to see the people, the recipients it goes to. And personally, we know folks, I will say on behalf of Pathways Community Center, our clients receive those love bags, which are Mm -hmm. hygiene kits that the folks that attend the church or volunteer physically packed. They put their heart, body, and soul and prayed over it. And now those bags get to go in the hands of those who need it, whether it is homeless or bus drivers or the school district staff, just to uplift them. I think that's what's so special. Mm -hmm. You just don't know what that little seed you plant, who it can impact. Emerson, is the hope, too, obviously, to spread the message of Jesus Christ? I mean, you're you're showing love to your neighbors. We know religion is a very delicate subject Mm -hmm. to broach with people. Now, we're lucky here in South Carolina. We're the buckle of the Bible belt, but still, it is still difficult sometimes to have that conversation, especially at a young person. Middle school is such a crucial age. You can still have had a strong Christian foundation growing up. But middle school, you start getting a little more independent. Mm -hmm. Um, That's when young people start to do things with their friends. And if their friends aren't going to church, you know, it's just it's just an important time to make sure that you still share the message. But the ultimate hope is right to start a message about who Jesus Christ is. Absolutely. It's it's really just demonstrating through your actions, like Mm -hmm. because taking that time maybe some of the events aren't exactly super fun. You might be getting dirty, might be outside in the hot sun all day, but it's just showing that heart posture. And even if you're not exactly having that conversation of like faith and religion and everything, they see the way you act and how you treat other people and the people you're like serving alongside. So I think it's really just just showing that. Because if you come out, so to speak, Mm -hmm. you know, just sharing the message first thing for folks who are not familiar with it or or they don't know how to take in the information, Mm -hmm. they might just kind of step back and say, whoa, coming on a little too strong. (laughs) So to your point, this is a way just to show through actions Mm -hmm. and then it starts the conversation. Um, I think it's great. It reminds me a lot of like vacation Bible school, but (laughs) out in the community. So I grew up going to vacation Bible school, loved it, but vacation Bible school was always held at, at our church, Mm -hmm. mainly for the youth. So this is not only the youth, but adults as well. Mm -hmm. And it goes, it starts at the church and then goes out in the community, which we've learned before that church is just the building, Mm -hmm. but church is really the community. That's that's, that's where the message is. We just gather once or twice a week to be with like-minded Christians to share the message, but church is out there in the community and get, listen, not everyone's going to buy in, right? But you hope over time, right? That they hope to hear the message and at least pause before they do something to think, well, they did say this one time when I was working with them or volunteering with them. What can we do? Have you had anything along those lines during Love Week in the weeks that followed that people have been touched by what you all have done out in the community? An inspirational story Mm -hmm. that comes to your mind or heart? Yeah. I mean, even just thinking most recently when you brought up the the t-shirt thing, um, I there was a couple instances where I had met someone, they asked me about it, it started the conversation, they were intrigued by what we were doing, and then they really just got open and honest, I think, when people hear, like, oh, you're you're that 
person you're you're doing that maybe i can like open up about my life situation Mm -hmm. so i've had to Mm -hmm. you know obviously gonna keep it confidential but i've had some really (laughs) good conversations with people and um of where they're at um what they're looking for a lot of people are searching um you know for for god for honestly just good people um and I think when they hear about what we're doing, and like you said, when they see the actions, they want to they wanna know more uh, because it's not common. Mm-hmm. Well, it's uh, Elevation Church. It's their big love week. And right here, we're lucky to have Elevation uh, Riverwalk location in Rock Hill that's serving so many different organizations and activities. What, 90 right here in the Rock Hill in the surrounding area. Yes. Mm-hmm. You can get involved whether you are part of the Elevation Church family or brand new to the community and don't know where to start. Um, this is an opportunity to do, to do so and just love your neighbor. So kudos once again to Elevation Church and especially our Riverwalk location um, for what you all are doing right here and making an impact. Um, Alex gave a great example of just at Pathways, and that's just one of so many different stories in our community. So Jonathan, no, John, Jackson, Jet. sorry. Oh, <laughs> Jet, Jackson, Emerson, roll call. Yeah, Jackson, Emerson, and Jet from Elevation Riverwalk Church. Thank you both very much. All three of you, thank very, you guys. very much. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you.